What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, what took you so long? No, I'm not naked, see? Today, we are going to be going through all my workout clothes and trying to get rid of stuff. I've been doing a little bit of shopping. So I wanna get rid of some things, that way I can have room for new cute outfits. I'm gonna be doing an Amazon haul. Because of stuff that I got, is not considered essential. Things are gonna be trickling in through June, but I did get some stuff. Um, did I shave? Okay, anyway. I'm gonna go ahead and wait though until I get everything to open it so we can do it together. I hope this video is fun and enjoyable for you guys. I don't know, um, if not, bye. Some things are in the wash right now, so I won't be able to try on everything, but I'll try on what I have. I feel like I haven't given you guys an update in a while. Like, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go on a diet, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna work out, and then like nothing since then. Dude, I've been smashing my workouts, I've been killing my diet. Um, this week, I kind of slowly started to wean away from macro counting just because I've been doing it for a while now. I'm familiar with what I need to eat, so I'm more so intuitive eating, but I am still intermittent fasting. I'm doing something right, you guys. Um, I'm down six pounds since I got started and I actually cut two inches off my waist, which is really reassuring you guys because when I was just glancing at myself in the mirror, I actually didn't feel like I was seeing any progress, but the measurements don't lie. So that's why it's important. Again, track your progress, take pictures, videos, weigh yourself, measure yourself. If you haven't yet, you need to. My clothes are starting to fit better. You know what part I'm most excited about? So before when I would stick my finger in my belly button, like in the shower, okay? Before when I used to stick my finger in my belly button to clean it, it was like a black hole. Like it was just infinite, like never stopped. Now, when I stick my finger in my belly button, I feel an end. Yeah, that's my update. If I start to see that my progress is halting, I'm definitely gonna go back to macro counting, gonna take it back to the basics, reset. But right now, things are working well for your girl. So, let's try some stuff on now, shall we? This is my first outfit here. I look super sporty. So, this bra, um, I honestly think I got this from like Forever 21, like years back, and then these Nike leggings were gifted to me um, by my mother-in-law. So I'm definitely gonna keep this. These are super cute. I wear this all the time. This is kind of my go-to workout bra. It's super comfortable, super cute. I like the back. Um, and these leggings, they're a little bit tight. Um, and I don't mean compression wise, like they are probably a little size too small, but I do plan to lose weight. So I'm hoping that these will fit me more properly. Okay, so I switched it up and I thought it'd be better if I just tried on my clothes by clothing type. So starting off with my sports bras. I only have a handful of sports bras left because after getting my BA, I ended up having to let a ton of my most favorite sports bras go because they just didn't fit anymore. I never really shot for new ones. These are basically leftovers that were actually too big for me at the time. So I definitely need more sports bras because I obviously cycle through these ones way too quickly now that I work out about four to six times per week. If you have any suggestions on some of your favorite brands and styles, please, please, please drop them in the comment section below. This Nike one I kept because I was so in love with the colorway, but it's just too small, y'all. Like, when I wear it, I could barely breathe, which is just nonsense, so I'm finally getting rid of it. I didn't try on the last two bras because I literally just got them and I featured those in my Walmart workout clothes haul. If you haven't seen that, please go make sure and check it out. This is my niece, Maya. You might recognize her from my TikTok cooking video. She likes being featured every once in a while. Moving on to tops. I've always been really into muscle tees and crop tanks, so you'll see that I have a ton of those in those styles. Here I'm just showing you that this top has a built-in bra with it. I love this shirt, but what kind of bra do you wear with it? Like, it's crazy. 
with my tops that are long in length. Sometimes I like tying a knot in the front just to give it a different look when I wear it. In the past, I used to rock things that were cute even if they were uncomfortable. I ain't gonna do that anymore. Definitely always gonna keep comfort in mind when I'm shopping for future workout attire because it just doesn't make sense if you're gonna look cute but are constantly adjusting your clothes or worrying if something is too short or riding up or whatever. I felt like a tennis player wearing this. I don't know why. As you can see, my wardrobe is very basic. I tend to lean towards dark colors. I like basic colors, that's my effing problem. White, black, gray, blue, it's an effing problem. I'm slowly starting to incorporate colors that are more fun and vibrant. You'll see on my next hauls. Also, when I really like a shirt, actually anything for that matter, I'll get one in every freaking color. Plain tops are always nice to have because then you can mix and match them with any bottoms. When it comes to workout tops, I don't really have a specific brand favorite. Honestly, you guys, sometimes I just work out in regular t-shirts even. For me, sleeveless is kind of the way to go. I don't really know how people work out in long sleeve shirts. Like, I literally die. I get so hot. I have tons of Katie Hearn shirts and I don't think I'll ever get rid of them. In the past, I did about three or four of her workout challenges and I just freaking love this girl. So I definitely had to show her some love. I kind of went ham buying her shirts. I'm even missing a light gray and coral color here, but it's in my laundry. Moving on to long sleeves. When I wore this top, I felt like it was in that movie Xenon. Come on, who remembers that Disney series? <laughs> Today was one of the hottest days of the week where I live. I feel like it was kind of a bad idea trying my long sleeve tops on because it just made me want to get rid of anything with long sleeves. Some of these were actually just too small or unflattering, so I decided to part ways. Sheesh, I had such a hard time getting myself in and out of this thing. I honestly could barely move. Now we have my shorts. I never realized how see-through these red ones were. <laughs> Biker shorts are my shit. They're literally my go-to, whether I'm exercising or just dressing casually to go out. Sometimes I wear my workout shorts as spanks underneath skirts or dresses when I don't want the goods hanging out, you know what I mean? I remember when I was in first grade, one of my classmates asked me why I always only wore shorts and it got me super self-conscious, like I didn't wear shorts for the rest of the school year. Anyways, I'm over it now and stay rocking my shorts. Love, love, love. Last but not least, the leggings. Some of my favorite brand leggings are Nike, Old Navy, and 90 Degrees by Reflex. I am obsessed with high-waisted leggings, like obsessed. I also like when they have pockets on the side so it allows me to store my phone whenever I'm working out. Look at this shit. If you ain't got to jump to put jeans on, baby, you don't feel my pain. I'm finally getting rid of my Gymshark leggings. They're an extra small and the way my life is set up, I just don't know how this is gonna work out. What do you guys look for when shopping for workout leggings? I'm really curious. Let me know in the comment section. Like I mentioned, I'm going to be doing an Amazon haul. Whichever bottom I end up liking, I'm going to be doing a giveaway, maybe even a couple, so Keep your eyes peeled for that. All right, so there are 14 items that I stripped from my closet. I plan to go ahead and donate these, which I always do. So you guys, I really don't have much else to say. We did some good work here. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell your friends, tell your family. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video.